get some proper food in us and then head off. Don't know what the plan is after that, to be honest. Uh, possibly the old man of store. Uh, maybe have two cracks at that, one tonight, one tomorrow. I don't know, but you'll find out as soon as I figure it out. But yeah, onwards we go. Pub, food and a pint done. We are now, uh, we're now at store. Uh, we just parked the car up for the night. Luckily the car park or the, the place that we're going to be spending the night is literally just down the road. Or say down the road. You can see store from the car park, so which is pretty cool. So we're going to go and check it out for sunset tonight. Uh, and then the plan is to hopefully get up and shoot sunrise. Because this is apparently a sunrise location as opposed to sunset. But there's a lot of mist up there now, so I'm sure we can go up and shoot some time lapses, get some cool photos, and then trek back down there to the car for the night. So I think it's an hour up to the viewpoint. So yeah, we'll crack on with the climb and uh, I'll speak to you from the top. Um, yeah, we made it to the top, to the uh, traditional viewpoint here. Looking back towards the old man of store, uh, it's quite misty at the minute. Um, so I won't show you the, well I could show you the view but you're not going to be able to see much. I'm hoping this mist burns off a little bit. Um, Craig and I are both planning to shoot a, a day to night time lapse. I'm just going to use the uh, Lumix S5 um, with its exposure leveling and aperture priority nice and easy and then I'm just gonna shoot some stills on the X-T4. The time is 10 to 8 so sunsets in about an hour so I'm gonna set the time lapse running in the next 10 minutes or so and pray that it uh, turns out at least half decent. It'll look quite cool the mist rolling through at least if it clears up and burns off a bit you should get um, some dramatic changes in light conditions but uh, yeah that's all uh, I really have to say at the minute, I'm absolutely bloody knackered from all the hiking today, but um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this time lapse next. So this is bloody typical. Uh, as you can see behind me, well, you can't, you can't see anything and that's the point. Um, Time lapse is running, but I, yeah, I don't think we've been able to see anything. But then behind us, we're having a nice sunset. Some nice clouds. Some sheep. I'm going to keep the time lapse rolling uh, just because I've started it and uh, if, if anything changes, hallelujah, if not, that's just the way it goes sometimes and uh, when you're in a place once and uh, the weather doesn't play ball, there's really not much you can do, but um, got some good images on the way up anyway, so even if we, I leave store without my, it's kind of like my bucket list shot. Uh, I know that I've got some good images and I can come back another time, but um, yeah, I've still got another hour on the time lapse to go, so things could change. We shall see. Sadly though, things didn't improve and so we decided to make our way back down to the car, stopping halfway to fire off another quick time lapse. 
And after another sleepless night in the boot of our cheap car, we woke up with the weather no better than it was the night before. Store was engulfed in a thick layer of cloud and the rain was coming down heavy. At this point on the trip, my will to continue on for another day was broken and we were facing the prospect of a long day on sky in miserable weather, followed by another sleepless night in the car before a huge drive home in the morning. So instead of spending another night in the car, we decided to make our way back home, taking in a few more sights by following a slightly longer route. The route took us through more stunning scenery, including the absolutely beautiful landscapes of Glencoe, past the road made famous by 007, and on towards another incredibly famous spot for photographers and movie buffs alike. That spot was the Glenfinnan Viaduct, an Instagram sensation made famous by the Jacobite steam train that glides across it, which is featured in a world famous series of movies about some kid with glasses that can do magic. 10 points if you can guess what that movie is. Quick tip though, if you plan on visiting the viaduct to catch the train, be sure to check the timetable beforehand and make sure you get there early if you want to get set up at the vantage point that we did. Currently, I think the train passes through there around 10.30 in the morning and three in the afternoon. And we were there a good 90 minutes prior to that and only just managed to get the spot that we wanted. And so as the Jacobite disappeared off into the distance, taking its passengers back to Fort William, our adventure around the North Coast 500 and Sky in a cheap car we bought off Facebook for 300 quid a few weeks before came to an end. During the nine hour drive home, I reflected on what had been another incredible adventure made possible by a vehicle most would consider sending to the scrap heap. This cheap car had transported us over 1800 miles through some of the most spectacular scenery I've ever seen. It provided us with a place to rest our heads at night and shelter from the rain, and one night even acted as a restaurant, free of midges, when we couldn't get into anywhere to eat. It also made all of these videos possible by keeping my camera gear charged, and perhaps best of all, it once again proved that travel and adventure doesn't have to cost the earth. In fact, we actually sold the car a few days after getting back for 400 quid, making us a tidy 50 pound each in profit. Sure, it wasn't all smooth sailing, and I'll talk about that more in my Guide to the North Coast 500 Road Trip video that I'm currently working on, but I hope this series inspired some of you to grab a cheap vehicle or your own vehicle and head to the Scottish Highlands and create some memories. Anyway, cheers to Craig for the company on the trip and helping me to film stuff. Appreciate it as always. And thanks to everyone who's followed along with the series and supported the channel. It really does help me to continue creating. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and I will see you guys on the next adventure. Take care.